yo what's good everybody welcome back appreciate everybody for clicking on this video and today we're going to be talking about a player who has had the same exact basketball journey as Lonzo Ball. I'm actually surprised that no one has made this comparison yet because it has been right in front of our face all this time. The player that has had the same exact journey as Lonzo Ball is a player named Austin Rivers. This guy is literally the Lonzo Ball before Lonzo Ball. And throughout this video I'm going to show y'all exactly what I mean by that. From high school to college level to the NBA. Literally everything is the same. So enough of all that talking, let's get right into this video. The first thing that we are going to compare with these two is the obvious father presence. I think we all know who LeVar Ball is by now. It was at a point in time where he was one of the most talked about people in all of basketball. In all of sports really. And he wasn't even on the court, that's the crazy thing. He was just so entertaining the way he would geek up his kids. Whether you like him or not majority of the stuff that he was saying turned out to be true with austin rivers it was the same thing his father doc rivers was a good nba player and it's debatable that he's one of the greatest coaches in the league the fathers of lonzo ball and austin rivers have always had more fame than them and with that being said they have always been connected to their dad's legacy they were expected to dominate just because their father has had a high status whether it's fair or not, it's the truth. Now let's talk about when Lonzo Ball and Austin Rivers were in high school. This is where things started to become weird because of how similar things were. First off, they were both the most talked about player in their class. We all know about how Lonzo was abused by the media, so I don't even have to talk about that. But it was basically the same thing with Austin Rivers. Now, it wasn't to the same degree as Lonzo because social media was nowhere as big as it is now. But let's say we were able to somehow switch places in time with Austin Rivers and Lonzo Ball. Austin Rivers would have had that same media attention, if not more. Austin Rivers High School mixtape has over 4 million views. And that mixtape was made back in 2010. YouTube was much different back then and it wasn't as big of a market as it is now. So if a video got 1 million views during that time, that's basically the equivalent of 10 million views in today's time. So keep that in mind. Another couple things that was very similar between them on the high school level is that they were both top 5 in their class. Lonzo Ball was ranked at number 4 and Austin Rivers was ranked at number 3. They both were named Mr. Basketball of their state and they were both McDonald's All-Americans. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot more similarities from them on the high school level, but I feel like that I got all the main points. If there was any similarities that I left out, let me know down in the comments. But moving on from the high school level, now let's talk about the college level. In both cases, their attention from high school followed them into college. All eyes were on them, and they both performed pretty good. They both averaged 15 points a game, and they both displayed that they were clutch players. Like the time when Lonzo led his team to a comeback win when they played against Oregon. And the time when Austin Rivers hit that game one in three against North Carolina. They both had moments that documented their greatness. But when there is good, there's also bad. And yes, they both have a similar moment. Both of their bad moments happened during the March Madness tournament. And it was also their last college game ever. With Lonzo Ball, it was when he got outplayed by Aaron Fox. People made it a bigger deal than it really was because LeVar Ball was talking crazy all year. It was just bad karma. And with Austin Rivers, his last game was tough because he shot 5 for 14 from the field. It happens, bro. But as soon as they took their last loss on the college level, they immediately declared for the NBA draft. Everyone already knew that they were one and done players. They had too much talent to be wasting time on the college level. No offense to all my D1 players out there. But anything could have happened if they would have stayed any longer. They could have got a career ending injury or it just became trash. It happens all the time. Their draft stock would have dropped and there's no telling how this could have affected their potential. There might be some people that think they should have stayed longer to develop their skills some more. And I see where y'all coming from but that just wasn't the case with these guys. It is what it is. They both went on to become a lottery pick and they both were drafted to one of the worst teams in the league at the time. 
For Lonzo, the Lakers were in rebuilding mode, and before they drafted him, they hadn't made the playoffs in the last five seasons. And with Austin Rivers, he was drafted to the Hornets, which is now the New Orleans Pelicans. And whenever a team has to change its name, that's usually a bad sign. They were supposed to be their team's savior, but that just wasn't the case. Their first couple of seasons, they didn't live up to the expectations that everybody put on them. Which is usually how it goes for younger players. It takes some time for them to adjust to the NBA level. And it's not like they were completely trash though. They were just inconsistent, that's all. Lonzo is still young, so it's impossible to keep the comparisons going. We have to wait and see how his career turns out during the next couple of years. But that's the end of this video. If you was feeling it, make sure you leave a like. And if not, just leave a dislike. It's that simple. And follow me on my Instagram. I'll be responding to all my DMs. So if y'all got like some video suggestions or you just want to chop it up with me real quick, just hit me up. Peace.